At Campus Insiders, we're not the only ones counting down the days until the NFL draft. So too is our next guest, former Arkansas running back Niall Davis. Niall, you announced your decision to turn pro last month. At any point in time since, have you had any second thoughts about that decision? No, sir. You know, um, I was at a point in my career where I just thought, you know, hey, it's just time to move on. You know, I, I kind of I had some successful years. You know, I had a you know a down year. You know, I wish it could have went. A different way, but you know it didn't go that way. Um, but I'm happy with my my decision. You know I've ripped the rearview mirror um, down, and you know I'm not looking back. Now you clearly have the tools to be a successful pro, but you've had to overcome a lot of adversity in your young career, going back to high school. Specifically, you've broken your collarbone twice and ankle twice. What do you say to NFL GMs worried about taking a risk on you? Well, the good thing about the injuries I've had is, is it hasn't been any ligaments. You know, it's all bone. And, you know, when you look at a bone on an x-ray, either it's healed or it's not. And uh, I've been fortunate enough to, you know, get all my bones healed. I've done a bone density test to make sure that my bones are very strong and they were actually above average. So, you know, my bones are healed up and, uh, you know, I'm ready to go. All right, let's flip the question around now. We all remember the Niall Davis who ran for over a thousand yards two years ago, had a great game and a loss to the Buckeyes at the Sugar Bowl in 2011. Since announcing your decision to go pro, what have you been doing to regain that old form? I've really just been tra training hard. I'm down here in Dallas working with Michael Johnson. He's helping me a whole lot. Um, also with Brian, they're helping me a whole lot, getting my, my speed up, my strength back, you know, and, and my main objective is to you know, prove to, to everyone that I still have that, that killer instinct and I still can play at a high level. Now we have to talk about this past season in Fayetteville. Obviously, things didn't turn out the way you or your teammates had hoped it would. Describe what the locker room was like under Coach John L. Smith and what's your relationship with him? Uh, Coach John L. Smith is a great guy. You know, I love him. Um, I'm happy for him. He got a new, uh, you know, head coaching spot. So I'm really uh, happy for him. Uh, we, we had a great relationship, you know, uh, this season was just one of those things that we couldn't get it to come together on Saturdays. You know what I mean? We, every every week we're in practice working very hard. You know, things were going like we wanted to go in practice, of course, but we just had a hard time executing. And, um, you know, and, and that, that cost us. But um, John L. Smith was a great guy. You know, um, you know, it was a great experience being with him. And I'm glad that he, he came back to give us the opportunity to stay together as a family. Um, it just didn't go the way we wanted it to. This past season, your rushing attempts dropped from 18 a game in the opener to as low as two against Ole Miss. What did you discuss with new coach Brett Bielema about returning, and what did he say? Well, Coach Bielema, you know, obviously a great coach. You know, um, he told me, you know, he would love to have me back. You know, I, I got a chance to kind of get a feel for him, a great guy. I think Arkansas is in, in good hands. Um, I just made a decision for myself, you know, I just feel like it was time to move on, move forward, you know, as a running back, you know, you can never, you never know how long you have. And, um, you know, I've, I've did the accomplishments. I've made some accomplishments that, you know, I'll never forget. And um, I think it's just, you know, time to be a professional. I'm ready to be a professional now. Well, you touched a little bit there in that answer about Coach Brett Bielema and what your thoughts are. Many thought it was a little bit of an unusual pick for him to be the head hog, if you will. Were you surprised by the pick, and how do you think his style will translate in the SEC? Um, I, I, was, uh, I was a little surprised, you know, because I thought, you know, he was doing good at Wisconsin, having a lot of success there. I didn't think, you know, he was even in the running for the job. But, you know, I also thought it was a great hire. Um, you know, I think he's going to bring that pounding run attack, which you have to have in the SEC. You know, you see the successful teams in the SEC, they all have that, that running game, and he's going to bring that to Arkansas. So, um, you know, I think it was a great move, great hire. Niall Davis, thanks so much for joining us, and best of luck to you coming. Yes, sir. Here. Thanks for having me. And for more pre-draft coverage with your favorite college football stars, keep it right here on CampusInsiders.com.